After Medic says goodnight to Gino, he goes into his own bedroom to think. Tonight was certainly a success. Who knew that women are so impressed with cleanliness? I don't think Gino took the rose out of her hair yet. I was right. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. I had so much fun with Ludwig tonight. Everything about our date was wonderful. I wish we didn't have to go our separate ways at night. Where is it? Where is it? For Christ's sake, where the fuck did I put that blasted ring? Ludwig, what are you doing? It's awfully late. Shit! Fuck! I, uh, dropped my glasses under the table. I'm simply trying to find them. By looking in every drawer and pocket around you. If they're under the table, shouldn't you be looking there? Quite right, my love. I guess without them I just can't see as well. I feel like you're lying to me, Ludwig. Are you looking for your glasses? Or are you perhaps looking for something else entirely different? I suppose I can't hide it from you any longer, Lieb. To tell you the truth, I'm looking for a ring. A ring you just wear on your finger. I never imagined you actually wore them, Ludwig. I'm not talking about one of those rings you wear as everyday jewelry. No, I'm talking about a ring that has a very special meaning behind it. A ring you only receive at a special event. You're not talking about an engagement ring, are you, Ludwig? Yeah, I am talking about that type of ring, my love. I was going to propose to you at dinner tonight, but then I lost the ring. I'm so sorry, Gino. Did that particular ring happen to be in a velvet lined case? Yes! The ring's jewel is a red ruby and... Wait a second, how did you know what case the ring is in? I found this in the pocket of that tux you were on our date last night, and here I thought you knew where everything was. You're truly a lifesaver, Lieb. I would have been up all night trying to find this if it weren't for you. Well, I wouldn't want my future husband to misplace important things all the time. With my future wife by my side, I'll always have someone else helping me out with things. I'll go get ready for our second date. Same outfit as before. Yes, that would be great. Your full beauty shines through when you're wearing a dress like that, Gino. I'll only wear it if you wear that tux again, Ludwig. I was already planning on wearing it again, Shots. Medic, it's me, Spy. Are you home? I just wanted to check on you and Gino. Spy? Oh, you'll never believe what we've been through? Well, to give you the short version, we're dating now. Really? That's wonderful news. Quick question. Why are you holding a small box? Surely you're not. Yes, Spy. Tonight at dinner, I'm going to ask Gino to marry me. Seriously? That's fantastic. But how long have you two been dating? Gino and I have been dating for a year now. Why do you ask? I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't too soon to propose to her. A year is usually the right amount of time for a couple to date before the man proposes. I'm getting all flustered just thinking about my plane. It needs to be perfect. The perfect setting, the perfect music, fucking everything. If I screw this up, then everything will be ruined. Medic, calm down. I'll help you with anything you need. Now, please, calmly tell me what you want. And I'll gladly help you get the perfect atmosphere ready for your big moment. One hour of preparations later, and Medic and Spy are admiring Medic's lab in a way they've never seen it before. It's absolutely beautiful, Medic. I've never seen your lab look so romantically lit before. I can't believe that this is still my lab. It looks so different without all the blood and organs everywhere. I think Jenna will love this setting. I think she'll love it too, Medic. Speaking of which, look in the doorway. Oh my god. She looks even more beautiful than she did on our last date. The candlelight reflecting off of her dress is truly a marvel. Indeed it is, Medic. Now go to your woman and make both of your dreams come true. Hello, Little Wig. Your lab looks beautiful tonight. There's nobody and nothing more beautiful than you, my love. Your exquisite charm is what most people in this world are lacking. You're always so charming, Ludwig. When we're married, I certainly hope you don't act like this in public. What? Would I not be allowed to flatter my wife around other people? I thought women like flattery. We do like flattery, but not if it's continuous. I'll keep that in mind when we're out in public. If we're finished here, I'd like to do a little late night reading. My love, uh, before you do that, there's something I need to ask you. What is it, Ludwig? Go on, medic. Express all your feelings towards her. I believe in you, my friend. Right? Gino, from the moment I first saw you, I knew you were the one for me. You make my heart take flight every time you smile. I can't imagine a life without you by my side. So, will you marry me? Of course I'll marry you, Ludwig. I've been waiting for you to propose all night. You've just made me the happiest man in the world, my love. Ah, uh, yes. Viva la romance. Do you have a date set for our wedding, Ludwig? Our wedding will be held in exactly one month from today, Liebling. I'll use each net. That'll give us plenty of time to send out invitations and get the preparations set up. I'll let you to have a bit of time as an engaged couple. Medic, may I read the vows at your wedding? Of course, Spy. I reckon you're the best for the job anyway. Many thanks, Medic. I won't disappoint you. 
I surely hope not.